Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, Skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your calls at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. And, of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products or formulations or ingredients or our Truth Skin Health products, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, you can head over to my blog, pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or brightsideben.com. You can also order products by calling 866-735-2470. 866-735-2470 and you can start yourself a longevity business if you're entrepreneurially minded you want to help change the world with the power of nutrition if you've experienced the power of nutrition yourself and you want to make some money helping spread the word and sharing the information and sharing the products as well for a one time $25 fee you can start a business 866-735-2470 is the phone number for the Brightside Ben phone team and they could tell you all about it 866-735-2470 Okay, welcome back to the Bright Side, friends. We've been talking about the connective tissue a lot, and for good reason. The mission of the Bright Side is to make health and wellness easy to understand, to simplify the subject of wellness, to simplify the subject of health, to liberate us from the medical model, the tyrannical medical model that, like all institutions, cares more about perpetuating its own power, perpetuating itself, perpetuating the wellness of its members rather than perpetuating the wellness of the individuals it's supposed to be taking care of. The medical model wants us to believe that illness just happens to us, that germs attack us, that our bodies attack us, that our bodies turn on us, and that all of these kinds of phenomena are inevitable. And if we want to prevent sickness, if we want to eliminate disease, we have to take poison drugs. We've got to be irradiated. We've got to be hacked up by surgeons and have our organs extracted. We are led to believe somehow that the body is too complicated. It's too confusing for mere mortals like, our, like us to understand. And we have to go to medical school. We, gotta, we have to be a doctor to understand the great mystery of the human body. And that's why, invariably, we all go to the doctor when we're sick. It's just, it's just the way things are. Oh, you're sick? Go to the doctor. Never mind that the doctor very rarely does anything to get us better, with the exception of perhaps mechanical traumas or infections. With the exception of these things, mechanical traumas, infections, accidents, we don't need doctoring. Doctors are irrelevant when it comes to health, period. When it comes to maintaining long-term health and cro reversing chronic disease, the tools of the trade of the medical model are irrelevant and they can only make us worse. They're not irrelevant, they're relevant because they make us worse. They don't get us better. From a medical perspective, a doctor, or from a physical perspective, we don't need a doctor. All disease is cell disease, which results from two things, toxicity and deficiency. 
toxicity and deficiency. That's it, folks. Toxicity and deficiency. There's nothing a doctor can do about it. Toxicity and deficiency. It involves dirty blood, that's toxicity, and nutritional deficiency. This is from a physical perspective. Now, there's always going to be spiritual, emotional, and mental uh, aspects to, to wellness and, or the lack thereof. But from a physical perspective, you're looking at toxicity and deficiency. It's as simple as it gets, folks. Toxicity and deficiency. Uh, that is dirty blood. When we talk about toxicity, we're talking about dirty blood. And when we talk about deficiency, we're talking about nutritional deficiency, and I'm including oxygen. Too much of the wrong things getting into the body, not enough of the right things. This results in a lack of vitality, and vitality is how energy is perceived. And that's really it, folks. From a physical perspective, these are the only concepts we need to understand to leverage if we're going to reverse illness and live long, healthy lives, our God-given 120-plus years. Toxicity, deficiency, vitality, and energy. That's it. And there ain't a drug on planet Earth that can make a difference when it comes to toxicity, deficiency, vitality, and energy. There's not a surgical procedure that can make a difference, except I, I, that can make us better. It can make a difference. It can make us worse. And this is where we come to the connective tissue. The connective tissue is the physical manifestation of these ideas. The connective tissue is the matrix within which the cells, the livingness, the cells are the livingness of the body. The, the connective tissue is where the cells reside. It is the connective tissue that delivers the nutrients. It is the connective tissue that delivers the oxygen. It is the connective tissue that filters the toxicity. And it is the connective tissue that channels the vitality and the energy. So we got four aspects here, or three really. Vitality and energy are pretty much the same thing. So you got toxicity, you've got deficiency, you've got energy, and it's all about the connective tissue. Yes, the connective tissue obviously connects things. The bones, the ligaments, the tendons, these are all, this is what most of us think of when we think of the connective tissue. But the connective tissue doesn't just weave the body, the body's physical structures into a whole, it weaves the energy of the body, the vitality of the body into a whole. And this makes the connective tissue the critical organ, system, substance, whatever you want to call it, the, the critical element in the body. We are as healthy as we are vital. Health is vitality, disease is lack of vitality. I don't know how much easier this can be to understand. Health is vitality, dis-ease is lack of vitality. So the connective tissue is the mother of the body. It is the matrix of the body. It is the womb of the body, of the womb of the solid structures, the womb of the cells. And it is from the connective tissue that the cells and the tissues and the organs all arise. And it is from the connective tissue that the electrical energy flowing through the body is sustained. Now, the connective tissue is also doing, working with nutrients, it's also working with oxygen, and it's also draining toxicity, but it is primarily about energy. The pattern of the electrical energy that flows through the connective tissue is dependent on lots of different factors. We've talked about nutritional factors, we've talked about toxicity factors, especially sugar, by the way. Sugar will whack out the connective tissue as much as anything else. And this is really the big problem with sugar. It's glycation or burning of the connective tissue, disrupting the flow of energy through the connective tissue. And as much as, uh, as important as toxicity from cigarette smoke or prescription drugs or air pollution is, nothing beats sugar when it comes to destroying the, the channels through which energy flows through the body. Hypoxia is a problem, lack of oxygen, inflammation, all of these are issues that lead to chronic degenerative diseases, and there's nothing inevitable about it, and there's nothing a doctor can do about it. The connective tissue, we've talked about the connective tissue's piezoelectrical properties, how it's responsive to pressure and tension, and that means stretching, and that means yoga, and that means physical exercise, and that means movement. All of these are elements for growing connective tissue, for improving the flow of electrical energy through the connective tissue, and issues at these levels, lack of movement, stagnation, disruption, lead to disruption of, of the flow of energy, which will inevitably show up as a lack of uh, vitality and ultimately as a lack of health. And just as important is the emotional and mental issues as well. All right, we'll take a break. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. We are back on the 
the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. Got a couple lines open for you. We'll get your calls here in our next segment, as we always do on the bright side. Love talking to my very intelligent listeners. If you're listening to this program, you are unique. Most people do not want to hear this stuff. Most people don't want to know why their body falls apart. They just want to know what the heck they can do about it, and that's fine. That's great. But if you want more, I guarantee you, you will be smarter when you listen to this program. After every hour of uh, the Bright Side, every day, you are going to be smarter about how the body works. It's going to make more sense to you, and that's my mission. I want to simplify this whole thing. I want to make you, uh, I want to help you understand how your body works so you can be your own health authority. We should not have to go outside of ourselves to figure out how our bodies work or why our bodies are doing what, they do, what they're doing. That's why the word doctor means educate. A good doctor is supposed to be educating us, teaching us, so we can be our own health authorities. And that's my mission in life, to help you be your own health authority. 844-236-6010 is our number if you have questions about Anything we're talking about here today or health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with or the longevity products or my Truth Skin Health products, which, by the way, you can find out all about at truthtreatments.com. I also have a skin health blog at truthtreatments.com. You can purchase all, all our truth treatments, uh, all our truth, treat, truth treatment products, including our retinol 5% gel, truth serum, truth omega-6 healing cream, and truth balm at truthtreatments.com. Okay, so... The connective tissue is the mother of the body. All disease is cell disease. All cell disease is about lack of energy and lack of vitality. Energy and vitality are channeled into the body, into the blood, into, into the cells, I should say, through the connective tissue. Now, we're talking physical here, but the emotional and mental issues, the emotional and mental aspects of the body and the psychological aspects of the body and the psychological impact on the connective tissue is important because remember that connective tissue is an energy phenomena. It's affected by all energy, and that includes mental energy, emotional energy, and physiolog or, or psychological energy. I'm not going to belabor that point, but it's very important to understand. I'm not the kind of nutritionist or healthcare professional that just says, take this vitamin. That's not what it's all about because you've got to be multidimensionally healthy if you're going to maintain the body's health. And that means the spiritual dimension, the mental dimension, and the emotional dimensions as well as the physical dimensions. Because energy follows our attention, just being aware of the connective tissue sustains it. Just being aware of parts of our body sustains it. Just placing our attention on the connective tissue can be supportive. Illness and disease is much more likely following a lack of attention to the somatic nature, the, the, the physiologic nature of the body. By addressing the body with our awareness, we can faci facilitate the release of locked up energy in the connective tissue, just placing awareness on the connective tissue. By the way, this is especially significant about the connective tissue in the belly area, the abdominal area. The abdominal fascia, this is a densely concentrated, uh, a dense concentration of connective tissue is right in the belly, which makes sense because the fascia connects all the organs. The connective tissue, I should say, connects all the organs. The fascia cover, covers all the organs, and the belly, the belly area is the most organ-dense part of the body. Remember, the fascia is a thin layer of connective tissue that encases all of the different structures of the body. It wraps itself around every muscle, every joint, every organ. If you've ever uh, cut into a piece of raw chicken or steak and you've seen a thin, white, filmy layer, that is the fascia. The fascia is malleable, it's thin, it conducts electrical energy like all connective tissue, and it is largely responsible for the shape of our body. And the fascia stores toxins. The fascia stores toxicity. The fascia can thicken, the fascia can get hardened, the fascia can become fibrotic when it is not used correctly. The fascia can become fibrotic when it is chronically injured. When you have a stiff shoulder, for example, often it's not damage to the muscle, but it's a hardening or a thickening of the fascia around the shoulder, uh, around the shoulder muscles or the shoulder joints. The fascia is now, uh, only recently actually, being medically recognized for its importance in maintaining a healthy, fit body. 
It wasn't until just maybe 10 or 15 years ago that we had the first International Fascia Research Congress. It was at Harvard Medical School, Harvard Medical, uh, Harvard Medical Doctors studying the fascia. These days they have something called, you probably heard of this, myofascial release. Myofascial release is kind of a, a buzzword in uh, the fitness community. Medical science is finally catching on that the fascia is a major player in the movement of the body and disruptions in the fascia, contractions of the fascia, tightening of the fascia, dehydration of the fascia is behind all kinds of health maladies from neuropathies to chronic pain to fibromyalgia. And by the way, the fascia stores trauma. The fascia stores emotional trauma. It stores mental trauma. And this can change the shape of the body. This can cause contractions in the muscles. In the abdomen area, this can be a serious problem. There are lots of nerves in the abdominal area. And there's lots of fascia in the abdominal area. The abdominal area, the belly area, this is where our solar plexus is. The solar plexus is the largest concentration of the nerves in the body. And the solar plexus, by the way, regulates the digestive system. The solar plexus regulates the intestine. You can start to see a relationship here. There's a relationship between the fascia. There's a relation. Uh, the fascia is connected to the nerves or covers the nerves in the solar plexus area. All of this regulates the intestine. By the way, the intestine also has its own nervous system. This is called the second brain. The intestine uh, has uh, uh, brain chemicals in it. It has serotonin in it. It has dopamine in it. In it. The intestinal area, the belly area, also has a large amount of electrical energy because of this fascial neural, uh, fascial neural uh, substance that is right, right in the belly, the solar plexus. If you're getting the idea that the whole body is kind of a brain, the whole body is an electrical energy information processor system, you're absolutely correct. The fascia is a type of brain. The connective tissue is a type of brain. The intestine has its own brain. This is what I mean when I talk about the divine intelligence of the human body. This divine intelligence not only involves every cell of the body, which has its, is its own kind of intelligent living creature, but the divine intelligence of the body includes every tissue and every structure. And it's all substanded by the connective tissue and the fascia. So the fascia is particularly important in the abdominal area. The fascia in the abdominal area is actually connected to the back. And this whole linkage between the fascia in the center, the, the belly area, and the fascia in the back, and how it's all connected, gives us an ability to sense ourselves in space. This is called proprioception. Proprioception is our ability to move accurately in space. Most of us take this for granted, that we can move, that we can walk accurately, that we don't get dizzy. But you know what? If you have Parkinson's disease or you have a movement disorder, you don't take it for granted. Just our ability to stand up straight or just our ability to get out of bed or, or stand up from a sitting position, just our ability to walk around and turn our heads and not bump into things for the most part, we take, most of us take this for granted. These mundane actions are really very complicated examples of how the body is an unconscious information processor and how the fascia and how the connective tissue is all related to our ability to get by in life. If you have Parkinson's disease or vertigo or when you come out of anesthesia, you know that there's a problem moving your body and all of this involves proprioception issues. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we're back on The Bright Side. Pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number. And we do have a couple lines open for you. We'll get your calls here momentarily. So hang on. If you're on hold, 844-236-6010 is our number if you have questions about the longevity products or formulations or ingredients or anything we're talking about here today. If you have a comment or if you have a success story, 844-236-6010 is our number on The Bright Side. Okay, from, uh, let's see, from the University of Leicester in England, this is a, a uh, meta-analysis, that is a study done on other studies, published in the journal Obesity Reviews, intensive exercise with intervals more effective. Short bursts of intensive exercise provide a more realistic way of preventing, delaying, and managing type 2 diabetes and also losing weight, a study has found. This is the way you want to exercise, folks. If, you st if you're planning on starting a, a New Year's exercise program, 
you don't need to spend a lot of time in the gym. You can get a great exercise, uh, a, a great workout in five minutes or less. The key to uh, an effective exercise program is intensity. And this is what this article here talks about. Uh, a study proposed high intensity interval training. This is called HIIT. It was time efficient and it may bring similar benefits, according to the study, to moderate intensity aerobic exercise. You don't need to spend a lot of time in the gym. You don't even need to go to the gym. If you have stairs, you have uh, an at-home exercise device. All you need is stairs. You don't need a, uh, you know, a fancy uh, uh, weight machine or weight training machine, or you don't even need dumbbells for that matter. You can, do, you can hold two gallons of milk and you can lift weights. The key is intensity. You can get a great exercise, a uh, great workout in 60 seconds of exercise. From the journal Clinical Gastroenterology and Hepatology, physical activity reduces liver fat. For patients with non-alcoholic liver disease, and one out of three of us have it, physical activity is associated with reduction in lipid content. You guys getting a sense here that there are things that we can do to stay healthy without having to interface with the medical model. That's why I call this program The Bright Side. It's, uh, these ideas free us from the tyranny of the medical model. Just simply moving your body around can reduce liver fat. Liver fat is a major cause of uh, early demise, of diabetes, of ultimately cancer, as well as digestive health issues, just overall misery. And one out of three Americans have issues with fatty liver. I love this one. Check this out. Researchers suggest increased incidences of C-sections, uh, cesarean sections, are causing evolutionary changes. A small team of researchers, this is, uh, by the way, published by the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, a small team of researchers has found evidence that an increased number of mothers giving birth via C-section over the past several decades has, ca uh, has been causing an, evolution, an evolutionary change. Baby's heads are getting bigger even as the birth canal size remains fixed. This is not to mention, they're not even mentioning the, the issues with the microbiome. One of the ways that our bacteria implant themselves for the rest of our lives, bacteria in the gut implant themselves, and those bacteria become our health angels, our health guardians, for the rest of our lives, detoxifying things, preventing cancer, making vitamins, helping us digest our food, eliminating of, of fats, and, and helping the body deal with, with excess estrogen. Bacteria in the gut implant as the baby passes through the mom's birth canal. C-section babies do not get that. This is a huge problem. If you don't have to have a C-section, don't have it done. And guess what? There's a lot of people having voluntary C-sections. Before we went to break, we talked about the abdominal fascia. Let me tell you something, folks. If you have somebody cut into your abdomen, the likelihood of adhesions and scar tissues in this very fundamental area, the, the abdominal fascia, is increased dramatically. And that can mess you up for the rest of your life. Do you know that when you have abdominal surgery of any kind, when a surgeon cuts into your ab abdomen, the in uh, likelihood increases for fascial scarring, and that can cause things like endometriosis and uterine problems, and infertility, chronic pain, digestive issues, and nobody's going to tell you that. They're going to say, oh, it's just a routine surgery. We're just going to take your gallbladder out. It's just routine. Oh, it's just a routine surgery. We're just going to have a little C-section. Nobody's going to tell you about the, the likelihood of abdominal adhesions, and then you end up with infertility issues or endometriosis issues or uterine issues, female reproductive issues. And nobody is even going to think that it has to do with your abdominal surgery that, that occurred a decade previous. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Elaine, my friend Elaine in, Ar uh, in Alaska. What's going on, Elaine? Good morning. Hi, good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Nice to talk to you. What's cooking? Yeah, I've got uh, two questions. The first one's very quick. Um, do you ship your... Um Truth treatments, the skin creams to Alaska. Alaska? What, it was Alaska like uh, Siberia or something? <laughs> it's it's like still that. part of the United States, right? I mean, you're yes. all close to Siberia, I suppose, but no. Uh, the, 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 free, the liquid content, sometimes they don't want to No, ship we ship to Alaska, we ship to Canada, we ship to the UK, we ship to Malaysia, to Israel, to Singapore, all over the place. Hey. Okay, fantastic. Um, the question I'm calling for is a patient. Um, she is currently undergoing um, stem cell replacement for her knee. We're trying to avoid um, knee replacement. Mm, so they're doing stem cells? 
Yeah, so they're doing stem cell, but they, her doctors told her to stay away from all anti-inflammatories, including natural, like turmeric, and so she didn't really understand why. I didn't really understand I, why. I, I, that's, I'm surprised they're saying that, but that's a good idea. I've never really heard a doctor saying to stay away from an anti-inflammatory. Um, I'm not sure what the reasoning behind that is. Uh, and stem cells are kind of cool. It's kind of high tech. But here's the problem. If, she's, if she doesn't change the way she lives her life, she's going to have the same problem with the new knee and the new stem cells. Cells need to get fed. Stem cells are, by the way, for the listeners, and, and I don't know if you know what stem cells are, Elaine, but they're, uh, technically they're called pluripotent cells. They're cells that can become anything. So they put the stem cells in a specific area. Those stem cells can become cartilage cells. I guess that's what they're thinking in the case of a knee replacement. I haven't heard that, by the way. So that's news to me. But it makes sense. And, and this is kind of the way medicine is moving. Stem cells can become anything, which is kind of miraculous when you think about it. A stem cell is a cell that can, be any, can, can get turned into any cell in the body. When they put them in the knee, I imagine they're trying to get, get them to become cartilage cells or, or some kind of connective tissue cells. Uh, the problem is, is if she's eating lots of sugar, if she's toxic, if she's not exercising, if she's got other health challenges, those new cells are going to be degraded too. So she doesn't take care of the problem. And that's my big beef with the medical model in general and specifically with these high-tech procedures. If you don't change the way you're living, the new cells are going to end up just as messed up as the old cells were. Does that make sense? Yes, and she's, she's incredibly healthy, but she's incredibly active and in her 60s, um, so she's... Well, garden. she might be healthy in terms of activity, but she's probably doing the wrong things uh, that cause her knee to cause her her knee to get messed up in the first place. Right, so, right. And, so and the stem good. cells are great. Make sure she's doing everything. She's, you know, activities are really kind of is an interesting topic because yes, we need, want to be dynamic in activity. The body is kinetic and it's got to move around. But if you're not nutriating appropriately oxygenating appropriately or if there's toxicity that's getting into the body too much a activity can actually be counterproductive so yes activity is great but within a context of good nutrition uh, staying away from sugar and other toxicity and that includes prescription drugs and then uh, and then also making sure she's oxygenating hang on hang on Elaine don't go away I'll, I'll finish up when we come back from our break I'm pharmacist Ben you're listening to the bright side 844-236-6010 is our number we'll be back right after this On the bright side, I'm pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We are on the air on Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive pages, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. Actually, we have archives at brightsideben.com and uh, benfuchsarchives.com. Criticalhealthnews.com and pharmacistben.com are our blogs. And you can purchase longevity products off all the websites. You can also purchase our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, so we're talking to Elaine in Arkansas about stem cells for knee replacement. This is the latest thing. Um, stem cells are, are pluripotent cells. I love that word, pluripotent. They can become anything. Uh, stem cells are, are, are mobilized to areas of w when we wound ourselves, cut ourselves, burn ourselves, hurt ourselves. You have a knee, knee injury, stem cells are mobilized to that area by the body, and they become whatever the body needs. They can now, I guess, uh, inject them into the knee. And this is what you're talking about, Elaine, correct? Correct. Injecting, injecting stem cells into the knee. As we get older, our stem cells don't uh, migrate to areas as effectively as our body kind of degenerates. So now they're injecting them, uh, artificially injecting them. They are, they are our own cells, though, uh, and they inject them into the area, and that's supposed to facilitate wound healing. And, and you're saying they don't, they are a knee uh, the growth of cartilage in the knee, and this is supposed to bypass or prevent or avoid or, or allow people to avoid knee replacement. Here's the problem, as I was saying before we the break. If she's not nutriating correctly, if she is not oxygenating correctly, if there are any inflammatory issues following excess ingestion of sugar or toxicity she's not going to she's not going to be able to she's not going to recover as quickly and she may not get the benefits of the stem cell therapy and this is true about any surgery by the way uh, any surgical procedure it becomes extra important to nutriate it becomes extra important to stay away from toxicity and it becomes extra important to make sure you're oxygenating correctly 
uh, after any surgery, and that's what I'd be recommending for her, getting on a good nutritional supplement program, uh, especially the, the B vitamins, especially vitamin E, especially minerals like zinc and selenium and magnesium and calcium, uh, and of course, staying away from sugar, and then maybe doing stretching exercises and yoga, and you said she's, she's already an active person, so that should, be, that should not be a problem for her. Did you have a specific question you want to ask about the stem cell therapy? Or? Well, she had um, also tried um, uh, glucosamine without much success. So. Well, you, you, Elaine, you want to tell her, and I know you're a therapist, so this is going to make sense to you. You can't just take glucosamine. It doesn't work that way. It's not a magic pill. None of these things are magic pills. None of these nutrients are magic pills. Glucosamine is a building block component of connective tissue, which is where she's got her degradation, more than likely. It's in the connective tissue. So glucosamine is extremely important. And glucosamine also, in addition to being a raw material for connect connective tissue, it turns on the production of connective tissue. But if there's, no vitamin, there's not enough vitamin C, there's not enough essential fatty acids, if she's not absorbing her fats, you see where I'm going here? If she's not getting enough zinc, if she's got sugar issues, all of these are going to keep these nutrients like glucosamine from working correctly. Does that make glucosamine not important? No, it makes it, it's still very, very important. So is bone broth. So is bone broth protein. So is collagen. I'd be doing that endlessly. Morning to morning, noon and night, I'd be drinking chicken soup if I were her. Bone broth. You know what I'm saying? And taking glucosamine and taking vitamin C and taking vitamin E and all the other mighty 90 essential nutrients, but it's not like these are miracle substances that you just take and you're better. This is how we want to think, and this is how we're led to believe that you just take these things and you get better. It doesn't work that way. Does that make them less valuable? No. Does that make them less important? No. They're still valuable. They're still important. They're just not magic. Does that make sense, Perfect Elaine? Sense. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. Okay, good. So I'm sorry that she didn't get benefits from glucosamine, but she should still be taking it. And I, okay. Uh, you know, okay. All right. All right. Good. And uh, now that you, I know you ship to Alaska, I'll order some of your. Um, That'd be great, Elaine. I'll put in a little. I'll put in a little extra gift for you. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Elaine. Take care. Right, Bye-bye. Take care. God bless. Bye. Bye. Okay. So listen, you know, I, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but you can't just take glucosamine if you have arthritis and expect that you're going to get better. But still, glucosamine is incredibly important, as is chondroitin, and as is vitamin C, and as is collagen and bone broth protein and all the other things we talk about in this program. But they're not magic pills. All right. Leo, my buddy in Oregon. Good morning. What's going on, buddy? Good morning, Ben. Always a pleasure to listen to your show. What an Thank education. You. And Thank you. Uh, I, I want to start. I have a question for you, but I want to start with a little good news. I have yeah. a couple of people that I'm meeting with on a regular basis uh, just to keep each other motivated about getting healthier. And I've turned them on to your show, and I'm I've kind of making that a requirement that they listen to your show. Oh, nice. Plus, Thank you, Lee. I've, I've talked to a, uh, she's a beginning pharmacist. She's going to, school, uh, to college to uh, become a pharmacist. So I've also, okay. and she's really curious to listen to your show. So I'm sending people your way because I think it's vitally important. And like Thank you, Leo. You're on. Yeah, absolutely, man. And it's, uh, it's great to hear you. I got a question about someone, someone I know has recently undergone surgery and they had their colon removed. And um, I just, you, you hinted to some of the uh, suggestions uh, about any um, the things that people should do after they've undergone any type of surgery, but is there something specific that you would suggest for that type of surgery? For the abdo for the did you say the intestine? No, she had her colon removed. Colon removed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So so did you hear me talking about abdominal fascia and cutting into the abdominal fascia? Yeah, fascinating all that? stuff. Fascinating yeah, it's stuff. so important. Nobody ever talks about this, but after you have abdominal surgery, you're at higher risk for all kinds of health challenges because of disruption in the fascia, scar tissues, adhesions, etc. Especially if you continue your bad habits. So uh, later on down the road, 10 years down the road, you end up with some kind of female reproductive issue, and you don't even think that they're connected, or neuropathy, or hip problem. All of it is linked to the fascia. So making sure she supports the growth of connective tissue with all the things we've been talking about is incredibly important. Bone broth, I mean, I, I hate to keep repeating myself, but I guess it's important. Connective tissue building, bone broth, glucosamine, collagen, my bone broth protein, which you can find at Brightside Health. 
HealthHealth.com. Uh, uh, controlling sugar intake and using nutrients that help the body process sugar to minimize glycation of the connective tissue, uh, burning of the connective tissue. B vitamins, chromium, vanadium. Digestive enzymes can be especially important for keeping inflammation down post-surgery. And by the way, all the nutrients and supplements and strategies that are important for post-surgical healing should be started pre-surgery, at least a few weeks pre-surgery, so that as soon as that surgeon cuts into the body, there's enough resources in there, nutritional resources in the system to start the healing process. That's really when healing begins. As soon as the injury occurs is when the healing process starts to be, uh, is initiated, so making sure the nutrients are present by treating, by pre-treatment a couple of weeks before surgery. Vitamin K can be helpful, although doctors will tell you not to use vitamin K. Vitamin E can be helpful, although doctors will tell you not to use vitamin E. If they don't want you using a pre-surgery, at least start as soon as you can post-surgery. Um, making sure she's got enough protein is very important as well. And I'd be doing super high doses of vitamin C, which is considered to be the rate-limiting nutrient when it comes to the generation of connective tissue. Last but not least, a good probiotic supplement or and fermented foods for, uh, uh, well, she doesn't have it. She, they're taking her entire colon out? Yes, they have already. She's already undergone the surgery. So uh, her what does she have, by the way? Why did they take the colon out? Uh, well, uh, from my understanding, they detected some precancerous polyps, and uh, I guess there had been a history in her family, and I'm not entirely sure about this, but, uh, um, you know, there was concern that she would develop cancer. And so, how old is uh, this poor gal? Uh, she's, uh, I think, uh, in, close to 40. That's terrible. That's absolutely terrible. Now, I can't say if she had, just if she had polyps, I, I certainly wouldn't have had my colon removed. Listen, the small intestine is where you absorb nutrients. You know, you absorb all your vitamins from the small intestine, all your essential fats, essential fatty acids, etc. How are you going to absorb these nutrients without a small intestine? You know what I'm saying? I mean, this is craziness. If you have cancer, that's one thing. Polyps are not the same as cancer. Uh, you know, liquid nutrients, lots of liquid nutrients, lots and lots of liquid, liquid nutrients. If you have any intestinal health issues, and if you don't have an intestine, lots of liquid nutrients to facilitate the absorption of vitamins and minerals and essential fats. I hope that helps, Leo. I mean, I know that's thank not... You. No, that's thank not, you so much. I, I appreciate it. Any little bit will help. And, okay. Uh, uh, as always, appreciate the show. Keep up the great work, man. Thank you, Leo. Take care. All right. Uh, Carl, let me get you real quick. Well... Truth Raider, I'm going to have to get you back tomorrow, buddy. I apologize. You I apologize, Carl. Hi, right, man. The What's that? Of death. <laughs> yes, I, we'll talk about that tomorrow. Oh. Call early. I'll get you first up, Carl, okay? Very good. All right, man. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Please check out my Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com or Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and Truth Balm. All vitamin C rich, never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, wax, water, oil, silicon, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in, in any of our Truth Skin Health products. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side. Have a wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We will talk to you all later. Bye for now.